It's a historic run. The Sacramento River is kind of one of those things that are, you know, days of, 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 <laughs> of long ago, and it's just a chance to get in there and try it again because you never know. I mean, it can go from 700,000 fish one year to completely closed and almost non-existent the next. Before a dam was built, you could go up to the to the spawning ground, which could be 30 or 40 or 50 miles uh, east of here, up in the mountains, and literally pick them up out of the stream, take them home and cook them. But to say that you could probably do it right here at, at Nimbus, even if the dam was probably built, is more is more urban legend than, than anything. The fish are crowded into the building using a mechanical crowder and then into a tray and then they're administered an electric shock and that anesthetizes the fish and calms them down so that the workers can handle them safely. They separate the males from the females and they feel the females' bellies to determine if they're ripe, if their eggs are ready to be spawned. Uh, both male and female salmon die after spawning and so here at the hatchery they are killed first so that our workers can handle them safely and quickly. They then bleed out the females, they'll cut the artery and let all the blood out of her body because they don't want any blood to get onto the eggs and prevent them from fertilizing. So once they've done that, they open up the female's belly and remove her eggs. She has an average of five to 6,000 eggs into a tray. And then they take a male and squeeze out the milt from the male, mix them together and the eggs are fertilized and ready, ready to go. They then put them into hatching jars that can hold about 70,000 eggs each. And there's river water from the American River circulating through those jars continuously to kind of simulate the river conditions that they would naturally be hatching in. And they'll stay in those jars for about 45 to 50 days until they, they've hatched out into sac fry or alvin. Sometimes the edible ones go to food length. They get processed in Washington and then um, they bring them back down to food link and they distribute to the all the food kitchens and the, the shelters and whatnot. And then the inedible ones go to um, a rendering plant for dog food, cat food. 